guys, this is history. What you've done, what it's shown. Done. You guys have built a platform that influences. Hey, out of us. It's the world's most dangerous morning show. Breakfast good. Breakfast good. DJ Envy. Envy playing my record, I made it. Jess Hilarious. Jess Over. with <laughs> She don't spell nobody. Charlemagne the God. What made you think the liking of controversial questions would take his part? I like this show. Thanks, Breakfast Club. Good morning. USA! Yo, 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 y
Yeah, so they also talked about his infrastructure bill and what he calls the positive impact it had on the U.S. economy. Now, after Biden spoke, of course, Harris said the U.S. Steel, which agreed to uh, be bought by uh, Japan's Nippon, Nippon Steel, should remain domestically owned and operated. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump was on a virtual campaign trail over the weekend after participating in video calls with current and retired members of the United Auto Workers. The union has already endorsed former, uh, or excuse me, Vice President Kamala Harris for the White House, but Trump currently doesn't have any other events scheduled until a rally uh, in on Saturday in Wisconsin. His running mate, however... What? You don't have another event scheduled till Saturday? Saturday, uh, Wisconsin. Of course, that's he subject need a break. to... Change. He needed an know, they, they, they he, say he the old election... Man now. Yeah, they say the election actually uh, doesn't start until after Labor Day. So you, right now, you're supposed to let the games begin. Exactly. This is the, this is the fourth court. This is the time. Okay. Yeah. yeah but his mate, Senator J.D. Vance, he will be on the campaign campaign trail this week, uh, including a scheduled visit to Arizona on Wednesday. So tomorrow. Um, yeah. And in case you missed it over the uh, weekend or excuse me, on the holiday weekend on Monday, vehicles and Democratic vice presidential nominee Tim Walls motorcade uh, got involved in a crash on Monday on a way to a campaign event in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now, according to according to a pool uh, reporter traveling with them, uh, the Minnesota governor and a staff member in one of the cars suffered. Or excuse me, the Minnesota governor. He was fine. A staff member in one of the cars. They suffered a broken arm after the collision. Um, everybody else pretty much walked away. Wall's car was not involved in the crash and he continued on to the campaign event. Other reporters, however, traveling in the motorcade, they suffered minor injuries. So who they ran into each other. They ran into each other. Yeah, ran into each other. Yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they ran into each other. Yeah. All I know is, man, you know, like uh, the, the election has officially begun and the VP has to go out there and shake hands and kiss babies because the enthusiasm from Democrats and Democrats alone is not going to win this election. Like she needs those undecideds, those independents, those hypothetical swing voters. Like you got to go out there and leave no stone unturned. Yeah, there's a lot of issues, you know, definitely I'm um, talking about, of course, what happened over the weekend. I mean, there's a lot that happened over the weekend um, with the, uh, <clears throat> the the hostage. Uh, of course, President Biden still looking for a hostage deal uh, between Israel and Hamas. Um, the president said he spoke to the parents of an Israeli American hostage who was found dead over the weekend. Let's hear more from President Biden about that uh, situation. I spoke to the, the American hostage. I spoke to his mom and dad and uh, we're not giving up. Yeah, Biden said he remains hopeful that a deal will get done. He also said he's not giving up on reaching a deal for the release of those the other hostages that have been held captive by Hamas. Now that is American Israeli Hirsch Goldberg <clears throat> Poland was one of six found in tunnels under Gaza. So um rest Man. in peace. Um, yeah, it's really bad definitely sending healing energy to the families of those uh six hostages. I, I don't know what's gonna make that war stop, but I know the killing of hostages is not the answer. Okay, they're all. killing hostages, that's gonna be the green light for Israel to keep going. That's worse. Yeah. It's gonna I make can't it worse. imagine living like that. Mm -mm. No, absolutely. Um, yeah, well, we'll get more into the issues that matter on uh, in the next hour. We'll talk right. more about it. Thank you, Morgan. We'll see you in a little bit. Everybody else, get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. Salute to all the Virgos out there. If you need to vent, let us know how your weekend was, what you did. 800-585-1051. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. Yo, Charlamagne, Gansy, what up? Are we live? This is your time to get it off your chest. I got an indoor pool, an outdoor pool. We want to hear from you on The Breakfast Club. We can get on the phone right now here and tell you what it is. We live? Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Lanesha from Columbus. What's good, y'all? Lanesha from Columbus, what's up? I just wanted to say, Envy, wait, is it your birthday today? Yes, yes it, it is, man. Girl, it's his birthday. <clears throat> Believe not be done. Hey. Boom, 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 boom. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm not Latino. I'm about to rock out with you. And that's happy birthday. Isn't that Merry Christmas. I thought, it was, I thought that was Merry Christmas. Same difference uh, for Puerto uh, Ricans. My bad. Listen, <laughs> take a hike on it. I know you Dominican, baby. I'm not. Listen, I just wanted to say thank you so much for pulling up to Columbus this weekend. It was lit at the Lincoln Theater. Shout out to Chris Husband. Shout out to everybody that pulled up. It was lit, Envy. We had a good time. Cisco did the thong song. We we had a, a great time out there. The thong It song. was a great time. Can I give a shout out to my people in my booth? Go ahead. First of all, shout out to my booth, Kiwan Godfrey Bay. I love you. You my everything. I know that's right, girl. And 
shout out to Joey H and the Headband. Your girl's on the credits on the album, and it's exciting. It's on all digital platforms. Y'all go get it, and I'm going to see y'all soon. All right, Lanesha. Have a good one. Peace. So hold on. You mean to tell me Cisco shots. performed, and the only song you shouted him out for was the Dawn song? That's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. The Drew Hill, the, actually, the whole Drew Hill performed, but. That's what I'm saying. Cisco did like, Thong songs. <laughs> What about the hunk song hit you so hard in the chest, Envy? That that's the only song you can remember. That that's a great song. Oh, you brought up the thong song. She didn't bring he that up. I did. Was he he brought it up. He was like, "Shout out to Cisco for doing the, the reason thong being, song." Drew Hill performed. They, they did a no. couple of songs that he got on stage, and I'm like, "How you gonna get off stage without doing thong song?" Charla, so I, I poured, poured him a little. Thong I poured song. him a little thick shot. He in here telling his truths. Exactly. exactly. You know what's going on. said, "It's my birthday. You gotta do thong yeah. song for me." Yeah. <laughs> Shout Damn. To, shout to Desi Banks, too. Comedian Desi Banks pulled up on me, too. So shout to Desi Banks as well. Hello, who's this? Sir, J.A. from Indy. J.A. from Indy. What's up, J.A.? Hey, so good morning, Breakfast Club. Lauren, good morning, Charlemagne. Good, good morning, morning. And DJ Indy. Good morning. Peace, Happy peace. birthday. Thank I you, called. Bro. I was going to make you an honorary alpha today for your birthday, but I changed my mind. I'm going to get that honor to Charlemagne because then I remember you tried to be a noob in undergrad. I was about to so say, Indy's uh, way more cap of energy. I was actually online. I know, but I'll, yeah. t- I'll tell that story one day. It's just Charlemagne's definitely that, yeah, that's the alpha over there. He's the alpha? Mm-hmm. Hello, who's this? This Tario Envy. Happy birthday. Tario, what's up, brother? Man, you know, we celebrate, man. I'm on the fourth, you on the third. I went to Whistler's Saturday at a mafioso thing. Went to the spot on Avenue B and to Squeaky, the Palmdale family. Man, we bald, man. I'm turning 50. I'm turning 50 well, tomorrow. Happy, happy birthday. It's such a blessing to see another happy day, birthday, right? Brother. Happy birthday, Tario. I made it. I made it. And then um, Mr. Right. Charlemagne. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, we sir. rapped last time, but Anthony ended up hanging up on me, and you told me to call back. And I did, and I got in contact with, I don't know if that was Eddie or the other guy, but they got my information, and they never the book. That'd be like two months ago, and the book ain't never come yet. Y'all ain't the mail the man the book. Hold Sim, on, Tario. We'll Eddie. put your hole. We'll get your info again, Tario. Hey, but listen, again, enjoy your birthday salute, soldier. All right, man. Thank you, brother. All uh, right, one. Get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you need to vent, hit us up now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. This is your time to get it off your chest. Whether you're mad or blessed. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. Everything with me is blessed. Call up next. 800-585-1051. Not just me. I'm with the culture feeling. Hello, who's this? This is T-Shell from Charlotte. T-Shell, what up? Get it off your chest. I want to say happy birthday to my brother, DJ Envy. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, bro. Always when you come to Charlotte, man. You know, I always appreciate when I pick you up from the airport, you in June. And the good conversations, man, you have about the motivation. So I appreciate you, bro. Happy birthday. Oh, this T Shell. What up, T Shell? Yeah. What up, bro? Why we ain't doing a birthday party in, in Carolina, man? You need to set that up Im- immediately. Always, always. Yeah. I, Call I Louis V. Him. Let's get Louis V to DJ and let's go down there and turn up. All right, got you, bro. All right, no All right, T Shell. Thank you, brother. All right, bro. Peace. Hello, who's this? Yo, what up, baby? What's up, brother? Happy birthday, man. Thank you, my G. That Dominican party gonna be smacking tonight. I already know. Hey, <laughs> Felice Navidad. No, oh, stop it. What's up, Lauren? Good morning. What's up, Charlotte? Good morning. Good morning. Peace, peace. This is X one four one two. Man, Charlotte Maine. Yes, sir. Snitch to me, bro. Did you snitch on me? Oh, Mr. you the guy that called yeah, last sure week, did. the truck driver. I absolutely yeah, did. Bro. You called back, yeah. so you don't want your job. I absolutely did, I Xavier. I love my job. I'm at work right now. Why you would you money? call back the, the, if he didn't? You just reminded him. I, I, I no, did. I, I, had I, had to take a drug test. I had to take a drug test the next day. And? The drug test ain't got nothing to do with your driving. So you it, said you'd be running lights. So if you just join us, uh, X is the truck driver that called last week that said he'd be running lights in his truck because Charlemagne uh, called and snitched on him. And he said I he had to take a drug test. Him. When you see something, say something. I am a taxpaying American citizen, and uh, I am here to make my streets safe. Okay? Bro, I don't live near you, though. <laughs> it don't matter. You could hurt somebody wherever you at. Right. Uh, injustice well, anywhere, listen, the threat to justice well, everywhere. Listen, 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 listen. Let's clear the air up. Actually, I do drive very safe. Jump <laughs> my wife. You it up. You don't let me. You don't let me drive crazy. You know what I mean? I got two kids. Shout out to Project Love You, baby. But uh, you know, everybody run a stop, man. Everybody hit that left. 
Not Don't in a Mack truck. Here you go. Not in the Mack truck. You run that stop sign. Right. You run a red light. You can hurt somebody. Now, I'll call again. There'll be nobody around but raccoons and crackheads. All right, you know what? The morning. You just said you drive safe and you got again. babies. Now you talking about don't nobody be around. And crackheads. And the fact that you keep calling the radio station, the fact you keep you keep calling the radio station, like you know, saying this stuff, like this ain't it's not funny. To I me. feel like he wants to be fired. No, I'm not he playing. Wants to I'm serious. I'm not playing. I'm serious. I drive real safe and nice. I ain't get it. I ain't get a ticket never, bro. He's gonna, he gonna tell you again. And crackheads' lives matter. Don't act like crackheads' lives don't matter, brother. They people. Man, You're driving all a right, Mack right. truck. Hey, hey, all seriousness, I do drive safe. Uh, I respect y'all. I love y'all. Shout out to my wife, Tajay. Shout out to my kids, chasing the ride. Y'all have a good one. All right, bro. He Shalom. has no idea he under investigation. Shalom ain't telling <laughs> on him again. Hello, who's this? Yo, this is Fader from Chicago. Say Happy what up. Birthday, Andy. Thank you, brother. Get it off your chest. Man, I just wanted to say good morning to the world, and I wanted to spit a few inspirational bars so everybody get their week started right. Oh, boy. All right, go ahead, bro. Yo, I hope you ready for your time in case you intercept it. I hope you hold on to it tight and you don't neglect it. I hope you know that you a diamond when you feeling pressure. But still I'm wired and take some time to get your ish together. I hope you know that you a soldier in this cover battle. I hope your family and your father and your mother got you. And if you say you got no family and no ones around you, I hope you know that I'm your brother and your brother got you. Right, I got a whole verse, so I'm going to stop right there. Though. All right, bro. That was all right. I ain't mad at that. It's okay. I wouldn't quit. I wouldn't quit my day job. You know Damn. what I'm saying? But you know, it's cool. But he can at least do like a little part time shit. I got some more. But you know, I wasn't mad at that. Uh, yeah. that, was a, that was all right. I can hear it. it. Well, give me your IG so they can follow you, brother. Definitely follow me on Instagram underscore f a d a h. It's Fader. That's underscore f a d a h. You can follow me anywhere with that whole time. All right. Those balls are all right. Time, I was still gonna so learn to trade though. Damn. <laughs> I was still going on a trade. <laughs> the rapid electrician is crazy. Get it off your chest. 800-585-1051. If you need to vent, hit us up right now. Now, we got Jess with the mess with Lon La Rosa. We do. Um, so not to dim the mood. I know we're celebrating your birthday, but we will be saying a recipe to Fat Man Scoop. And we're going to just party oh, for him man. one more time. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. Jesus Christ. I mean, the levels of freak in this room sometimes are insane. It's that I didn't birthday say that. shot. You said you're only taking people to pound town. No, the, the, I did not say homies. that. I said I'm not giving people fives or pounds anymore because... Tell them the story. Tell them what happened. You so said dude it, fingered you a little sharp. I did not say that. I, I said... <laughs> say? Look at my... Look at look. See? So dude's fingers, they don't cut their nails. So when they give you a pound, <laughs> I got scratches all on my, my finger. Heard you. So now I'm mm. not going to give anybody, like, you know, dap anymore. I'm just going to give you a pound because, you know, maybe screw. Anyway, man. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, no more, no foreplay. No, no <laughs> Yo, foreplay. You just want to get right to the pound it. Yo, shut okay, up. Forget pound the pound. We got pound town. Oh, my All goodness. Right. All Good right. morning. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, man. Let's go, man. The news is real, brother. The news is real. Just to rob more. Just don't do no lies. Don't do no lies. She don't spare nobody. Worldwide Jess. Worldwide Jess. Match. On the Breakfast Club. She's a coach with Lauren, Lauren LaRosa. I'm back. And I got the mess. Talk, the mess. talk to me. So over the weekend, uh, Fat Man Scoop uh, passed away. Um, and this all started, there was a video that broke of him performing in Connecticut at Town Center Park. Um, and this was a part of like a summer concert series that they were doing up there. And during the performance, he you he literally, if you watch the video, he falls in the performance and they have to perform CPR for him. Let's take a listen to the video. You better give it up for Fat Man Scoop right now. Have you made some noise? Yeah. I said, have you made some noise? Yeah. Wait up. If you came to party, make some noise. So um, what happens in that video for those who haven't seen it yet is he's walking on the stage and he's still trying to entertain the crowd. He gets uh, to the top of the stage where his DJ is and then he falls after that. Um, if you came to party, make some noise. And then you see people behind the DJ booth doing chest compressions on someone. And a lot of people from the crowd were saying that it was a uh, fat man scoop. And then later, um, not even 24 hours later, but like the next day. Um, news broke that he had actually passed away. This was first confirmed via a statement posted by one of his uh, like tour managers or members of his team, and it said, "With with the heaviest of hearts, I announced the passing of Isaac Freeman III, known professionally as 
Fat Man Scoop. And then his family went on to release a statement, um, you know, just, you know, saying with profound sadness and very heavy hearts, they shared the news of the passing of Fat Man Scoop, um, who was a radiant soul, a beacon of light on the stage and in life. He was not just a world class performer. He was a father, a brother, an uncle and a friend. Mm. Yeah, I I, t- I just felt like with that story, it just happened so fast. It was like the news broke, the the CPR was happening, and then next thing you know, you I, I saw a report from the New York Post that he had passed away. And, well, rest in peace to Fat Man Scoop. I, I hate that we have to see that video, but the irony that he died on stage doing what so many people love him for, and his his last words was him hyping the crowd. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely rest in peace. I mean, Fat Man, I know Fat Man Scoop a long time. I mean, when... um. And he really started in the industry from the bottom. Like he started as on a street team, working for Tommy Boy, worked his way up, got him got him a, a position on, on radio, and then started doing radio and then doing records. And he was just somebody that I've never seen him upset. Very happy, very willing to give you advice, very willing to give you positive energy. Uh, when I first started in radio, he was somebody that I was able to call upon and, and ask him things, uh, whether it was contract negotiation time or just how to how to do a tease on air or how to close out a break or whatever yeah. it may be. He, he he would be willing to give you so much knowledge, and he was a, a he was a really great person. You know, how somebody says you're a good person. Yeah, he had a good heart. He had a good soul. Like I said, he was a great person. He was great to to me. He was great to my family. So definitely rest in peace and sending condolences and 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 healing energy to his family. Uh, sad, absolutely. And, you know, I went to I went to college with his brother. So uh, definitely sending uh, healing energy to his his family and his. Did kids. they say what the cause of death was? So there is no official uh, toxicology report, which would be the exact cause of death. However, uh, the P- the CEO of the PR firm that represented Fat Man Scoop, her name is Sharon Elkabaz. She did give a statement to the Hollywood Reporter, and she said that um, he had an energy drink before going on stage, and he never drank energy drinks, but he did before this show. So I don't know if the family thinks that that, you know, may be a part of the reason or whatever. Um, but there is no official cause of death that has been released yet. Um, but I know Envy, like I saw you posted, I saw you talking about it online. And I know it's your birthday today, and mm-hmm. you know he left out of here saying, "If you came to party, make some noise." I, I can't think of a time in a club or. On a radio on a weekend, you don't hear these records. Right. Like, my whole life, I'm trying to think. Well, since these records came out, like I can't think of a time you haven't heard these records somewhere. No, for real. Especially that the single ladies one. That's what I'm saying. It's like, wow, I didn't. And he know just that. did a Especially record the with the single ladies. I don't even think they released That's it. That's the one, right? Yeah. yeah. That's the one for you. He just did a. Re- uh, Not they, to, they, I'm sure they're gonna release it, but they I just will break that computer JT. screen. They, he just did a record with JT, and it's funny. I was talking to. Uh, shout to Chris Green, who works for the label. I was talking about Scoop. He was like, yeah, Scoop just did a record with JT. Is we about to release it? And I'm like, dope. And then a couple of hours later, he passed. And I'm like, wow. yo, we were just talking about it. He was like, yeah. So I'm sure they probably released it in a, in a couple of, I don't know if it's a remix or, or, or her next single, but I know he just did a record with JT. And, and I do want to say, I mean, you know, we don't know what the cause of death is, man, but I just want to say my brothers and sisters, I cannot stress to you enough how important it is just to stay on top of your cardiovascular health. Yes. Okay, cardiovascular disease is what leads to, you know, uh, heart attacks and strokes, mm-hmm. all that type of stuff. When you hear a lot of cases about these, you know, sudden deaths like that, usually it's some type of cardiovascular disease, man. And as a person who's dealt with, you know, anxiety their whole life, I've been in and out of the hospital thinking I was having a heart attack. But a couple of years ago, I really started focusing on my cardiovascular health. And that's why I always salute Dr. Puma and Soren Medical. You know, Envy's been to Soren Medical. Go get you a Soren heart scan. And even if you, you know, not in the New York tri-state area, go get that scan that can detect those blockages and plaque or calcification, you know, uh, or around your heart. Because, you know, co- uh, coronary artery disease is taking a lot of us out early. And just so you know, because when we say that, people think it's a procedure. They, they got to put you under. No, what they do is no. it takes probably five minutes. They put a, a, it's a, I guess it's a fluid in your system and they can track. Uh, yeah, it warms through your you veins. up for a second. It warms That's you up right. for a second. Uh, and it, it takes literally, I think, five to ten minutes. You're out of there, and, and they four can, minutes, four, four minutes. minute evaluation, four minutes. And from that four minutes, you can say, like, like Charlemagne said, the calcium, uh, what runs calcification. through your veins, calcification, calcification, what runs through your yeah, heart, the blockages, and all that. Mm-hmm. yeah, the blockages, the plaque, the calcification, you know, that be clogging up those arteries, man, and and leads to those sudden heart attacks and those sudden strokes. How, yeah. you know, how Lauren kept saying how it feels like it happened really fast it did. because it does. You right. did, man. I was like, but when I heard again, we don't know the official. Um, like anything cause of anything but mm-hmm. when I heard CPR just as 
just as a person who knows like a CPR background, I was like, that does not sound good. That mm-hmm. stuff moves so fast. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So and 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 lasting like what Charlemagne said, if you do go to the doctor and they do check it out and there's a problem, they can fix it right then and there. You don't have to That's come right. back. They can go right, fix it right then and there so you can have a, a healthier life. And that is Chess with the Mess with Lauren LaRosa. All right. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. More going to be joining us. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. You're checking out The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Just Hilarious. Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Lauren LaRosa filling in for Jess. And let's get in some front page news. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning. Good morning. So, yeah, Senator Lindsey Graham says he won't support former President Trump's plan to provide public funding for in vitro fertilization treatments. That's IVF. The South Carolina Republican told ABC's this week he believes Trump's comments were simply trying to signal that he's in favor of IVF. He also says he would consider tax credits for couples using fertility treatments and urge former President Trump to campaign on key issues like the economy, immigration and inflation. Let's hear more from Senator Lindsey Graham. I think he's just trying to to show his support for uh, IVF treatments that, you know, we've been accused, the party has, of being a bit against birth control. We're not. We've been accused of being against IVF treatments. We're not. I think a tax credit for children makes sense, means tested. Uh, And I think let's look at that concept for people trying to have a child. Focus on the issues, Mr. President. Every poll says says the same thing. The American people trust you with what matters the most to them. Yeah, so Trump suggested earlier uh, that uh, earlier this week that public funding should go towards IVF treatments and that insurance companies should be required to pay for them in some circumstances. What do you guys think? I think when Lindsey Graham says focus on the issues, uh, the attack on women's reproductive rights is one of their main issues. Hello. <laughs> exactly. Okay, I, mean, I, thought, just okay. Tr- I thought I was alone just tr- when Trump yeah. was, you know, trying to jump in and get his foot his feet wet in that issue you know uh, they yeah, made it, it one of their main issues they abolished roe v wade like that's one of their main issues the attack on women's reproductive rights is one of their main issues so when he says focus on the issues d- d- y'all made that one of your main issues yep clean it up all right so switching gears uh two senate bills related to reparations for black californians couldn't reach the assembly in time the legislative session ended this past weekend without the assembly agreeing to debate the bills. Now, California was the first state in the nation to approve reparations, but as many as 14 bills needed to be debated and passed before that can happen. Now, the Senate's Black Caucus president promises to bring the bills back to the floor during the next session. So no reparations moving forward uh, as of right now out of California. And those people were uh, rightfully so upset Mm -hmm. about that. Also, um, in California, a judge is refusing to dismiss man slaughter charges in connection to the shooting death of a black man, Christopher DeAndre Mitchell, by two then on duty uh, Torrance California police officers. Black Lives Matter organizer Sheila Bates says there needs to be accountability in this case. Let's hear more from her. They did so many things wrong leading up to it, which was ultimately what then led to them killing Christopher DeAndre Mitchell. It's incredibly important that we have cases like this that move forward. So on Friday, the Los Angeles Superior Court judge rejected a motion to dismiss the indictment naming Matthew Concannon and Anthony Chavez as defendants in the 2018 death of Mitchell. The two were responding to reports of a stolen vehicle when they saw Mitchell sitting inside a car with a um, in a grocery store parking lot. They approached the vehicle and ordered him to get out before shooting him after he allegedly failed to comply. Quite uh, excessive force there. Um, like and the judge is making the right decision to meet him. Yes, yes, justice should be served. That's, that's a good thing, yes, for uh, Christopher DeAndre Mitchell, say his name. And also, uh, sad news out of New York. You guys it, here, quote, quote, in New York, uh, the NYPD is saying that six people were shot at the New York City's West Indian Day Parade. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah mash up the place. Oh, uh, About three in the afternoon, a gunman jumped onto an Eastern Avenue uh, or Eastern Parkway, excuse me, parade barrier and fired into the crowd. Uh, there, this uh, woman uh, was a witness. Let's hear more from her. A group of guys, they came from back there. They jump over there and I hear pop, pop, pop. And what I did was I duck on the ground because everybody started running. Yes, wow. praying for one of the victims, uh, reportedly in critical condition. Um, one was uh, shot in the head, another in the shoulder Mm-mm. and the wrist. Uh, the annual parade, of course, celebrates Caribbean culture, and it was halted for a time, but has resumed again. About one million people turned out for the West Indian Day Parade, which celebrates Caribbean culture. 
and uh, police presence for the day was heavy and included anti-terrorism and canine units, drones, cameras, and more. We don't have a, a Caribbean par- parade in D.C. anymore because of this type of violence, this type of situation. So it's really sad to crazy. see that happen in New York. It- it's crazy when you're an American and in your mind, when I hear about stuff like a parade or, you know, a festival, I want to stay away from it it's because it's, because it is. Yep. Because you, yeah. you think it's going to be some type of mass shooting. Yeah. So many of my friends this weekend, because it was Labor Day weekend, they were like, oh, you know, you're new to New York. Come out. Enjoy it. Because mm-hmm. I've never done anything like that. <clears> and <throat> I was like, it's too many people. And you could just walk up with anything. That's literally how I felt. The last couple of years has been very safe. They haven't had any incidents. I know this year they had incidents. In, in, in the past, they've had incidents before. For, but it's very sad because people just want to celebrate their island. They want to celebrate their Caribbean yes. roots. People want to just listen to great music, eat great food, and you don't want to see that. It, it's it's effed up that you hear this all the time. But there's so much good in those parades. There's so many positive energy, so many positive people, so many positive things. You really get to learn so much about somebody's culture. So it's so disgusting that this one incident can affect millions of people's parades. So. I'm is this so is the Dominican parade the same envy? Do they, do they have different safety precautions? I'm not Dominican, what? sir. I'm from the I'm, my, my father uh, is half from the island of Dominica, which is not so you're Dominican. Half Domin- you're half Dom- Dominican. Oh, that's Caribbean. Um, that's that's Caribbean, sir. That's not Dominican Republic. It's wait, what are you? I thought. Hold on. Dominica. It's crazy how you don't claim Dominica. his people until it's time until it's time to get a check. I talk about it all the time. I've never Dominican heard Republic. you say that. No, I, I ain't never heard you say that. They, 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 we say it all the time. My dad He's is Dominican. half half black, half from the island of Dominica, which is not Dominican Republic. Dominica. Envy, we should talk about this before we took the shot. You confusing me. Oh my God. What is happening? <laughs> it's a why is he nominated country? for a Latin country. award then if he's not Dominican? I don't know. Because that is Latin America. I don't you know like, why oh I'm God, nominated for a Latin award, but it is what it is. This is sad. This is sad. Latin America. Salute to all my Caribbean people from Dominica. We can't get too much into that because we go, mm, we start. They don't know nothing about Dominica. They don't know nothing about Caribbean culture. That's nothing. why you have to go to the Caribbean pr- pr- parade. See? Uh, I just saying, that's, yeah. Oh, eh. All yeah. right. So that's your front page news. <laughs> Follow that's me so on Twitter. You, you Jamaican, Morgan? <laughs> I, listen, we don't want to run down mine, okay? This, 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 yeah. Anyways, yeah. But I, I just have some West Indian in me, okay? I, hey. I, I'm from America, though, okay? I have some good, some, I, I'm good here. I'm good here. Lord of mercy. <laughs> Don't try to take my cards. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm here. All right. Um, but that's your front page news. Follow me on social media at Morgan Media. And for uh, more news coverage, follow that Black <laughs> Information Network and download the free iHeartRadio app. And visit BINnews.com. All right. <laughs> Morgan said, Don't take her cards. Are you working here illegally, Morgan? I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, Lord. She was. Jesus. I mean, you just blew her listen, whole... I got a number for that. <laughs> it was no. I'm don't definitely a citizen. A he been snitching don't, all week. See something? Say don't something, call me. Crazy. I'm a citizen of America. That was yes. uh, front page news. Yes. Now we had a topic for the seven uh, uh, a.m. hour. What was it? Yeah, we're opening up the phone lines 800-585-1051 So Mac came in here. Our producer Mac. He was a little uh, upset. He got into an argument with uh, one of his peoples, uh, and he was saying 800-585-1051 I'm gonna tell you. Uh, one of his peoples told him something and said, yeah, don't tell anybody. You know, it's like, you know, I'm telling you something. Don't tell anybody. And Mac said, OK, sure. Mac wound up telling his girl. Like y'all always do. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Wait, hold on. No, Mac told something to someone and then they told their girl. And their if girl somebody brought it tells up to me, Mac. If, so, if somebody tells me not to tell somebody something. You're going to tell you know somebody. I'm especially no, your I'm wife. Not. All right, here's, no, it, I'm not. You're supposed to. I'll, no, you're not. No, I told my boy something. Mm-hmm. And he told his and he girl. he told his girl. Yeah. And then I was around them and she said something to me about the thing I told him not to tell nobody. But right when you said something to him, you knew he was going to tell his girl? At I least you know, know the girlfriend. Don't tell nobody. Y'all well, be this, knowing. This is the thing. 800-585-1051. Charlamagne obviously doesn't feel the same way. But if you tell me, I'm telling my wife. I I'm feel not. like you. that's a... Uh, like, I specifically will say to my friends, do not tell such and such. Like, there are certain things that are off limits, and they know that, but you specify it. Like, we're, we're, in, we're in a relationship. You tell me... I'm, I'm going to tell her. Like... Everything. No matter what. I don't know. I, I, don't, I tell her I, everything. She tells me everything. I don't know nothing about any of my friends. I mean, my wife's friends. Like my wife got her friend circle, and I'm sure that they tell her things, and she don't come back and tell me. 
Like, no. And it's, and it's vice versa. If I got friends that tell me something, I just don't go tell my wife. If somebody asks me not to say something to somebody, I'm not going to say anything, including my wife. Like, that's ridiculous. Well, not me. If, if you tell me something, you if she's an extension of me, you know I'm going to tell her. Not everything. Certain no. things not shouldn't even be, be discussed like with what? your friends' men. Like, just, you know, like, you know, like you would be in a tr- chat with your homegirls talking about, like, you know, your dating life or, like, Sex with you Like just certain things There's nothing off limit In my and, crib and, We talk about everything And by the way I'm gonna tell you What Mac messed mm-hmm. up at What our, our Mac, our, Mac can our, hear you Oh no. no I don't know if he can hear me he can Yeah hear I can hear you I, I, I thought I heard somebody Say this earlier If you told your friend Right uh, Not to say something Did your friend say to you Well yo you know I'm gonna tell my wife No he didn't say that Okay, so if you're not, if you're not, if that friend, if, if or, and envy, if somebody tells you something and you don't, and you don't say to them, well, you know, I'm gonna tell my wife, then you, you know, you're a liar. Why, why give that person your like, words? Give you're me not the, gonna say give that. Give me the heads up, like wife. yo, I'm not gonna tell nobody except such and such. Exactly, you're a liar. Well, and then she you, said it around me too. I'm like, how you? I, I mean. She messed well, up the cold yeah, though, because she's, yeah, supposed, she's, to she's supposed to hold it down. She's supposed to She's supposed to show up real neutral until she has to not like you. She but, didn't know it was a cold. It's not like the do. It's it, like it's not it like her, her, this her is, man didn't. Definitely her a man cold. didn't go to her and say. Her man didn't go to her and say. All right, now don't say nothing to Mac. Everybody like, know the pillow talk yeah, cold. It's like unspoken. Nah, it's unspoken. It's unspoken. It's unspoken. It's unspoken. You're not whack. supposed to go and, and release that information. But let's nah. open up the phone lines. 800-585-1051. If your spouse or your girl or your man tells you something. Are you supposed to tell your 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 significant other? No. Yes. <laughs> Especially if the person said to you, "Don't tell nobody." Yo, I'm just nobody telling you, bro. includes your significant other. Don't say nothing. I'm just saying it's between me and you. Don't say nothing to nobody is different than yo. Don't mention this to your girl. Like it's different. Exactly. That's just different, y'all. I said it's between me and don't you, mention not this me. To your girl. You and it's her certain and y'all. stuff you just know you don't tell your significant other about your friends, but like some stuff is just. If somebody tells me. I'm telling you this, and I don't want you to tell nobody. Nobody means nobody. Nobody, no. baby. Nobody, nobody doesn't what? tell nobody well, about things you say. Lines. Don't tell nobody. Eight hundred five eight five one five one. I know who not to tell nobody in nothing in this room. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me much. nothing. Hey, don't tell no, nobody you, in this room. You can know hey, it. don't you can, tell nobody. You, you can tell me. I'm the only one in the room. Ain't got nobody to tell. Yeah, it's just me out here, so yeah. you can tell me. <laughs> I'm gonna you, talk to the walls. You ain't got nobody to tell. We can tell you everything. All right, relax. And I want everybody to know when somebody tells me something, if I know it's something that needs to be repeated, I'll tell them right then and there. You know, I ain't keeping this to myself. Right. Okay. Yeah, I but, respect that. Well, you can't say that after I tell you. Now you can't. No, now, I'm now gonna you don't tell anybody. As soon, <laughs> no. No, no. as soon as you say to me, "Hey, I'm gonna tell you something," but don't tell nobody. It depends what it is. See? I reserve the right. I reserve the right. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. Let's discuss. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. It's topic time. Call 800-585-1051 to join into the discussion with The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Lauren LaRosa filling in for Jess. If you're just joining us, 800-585-1051. Now, our producer, Mac, got into an argument with his peoples over the weekend. He told his man something and said, don't tell anybody. And his man told his girl. And then when they got up together, his girl told her. So we're asking 800-585-1051. If you're in a relationship and somebody tells you something, are you telling your partner yes or no? Me, absolutely, positively, yes. You tell me, I'm telling my wife. Like, like it is what it is. I've been with her over 30 years. She's an extension of me. You tell me something, I'm telling her. And you feel like your friends kind of know. Like, they know. Yeah, my friends like, know. Because like, like, yeah. they probably come to y'all for advice at this absolutely. point. Absolutely. They'll call her for advice. Right. Absolutely. They, they know what it is. It's, right. It's without a doubt. Well... Well, we can't ask you that, No, Lauren. when I but do... Well, hold on. Don't just skip <laughs> over me like that. <laughs> oh, I'm a single lady. Oh, I'm a single lady. Oh, I'm a single lady. <laughs> Put your hands up. <laughs> okay. Well, when I do have a person, I, I talk to them about stuff. But certain stuff, though, is off limits. Because, like, you know, you just don't want your partner looking at your friends a certain way. You know, if they need her whole face. Or it's just certain things you just don't want them to know. But for the most part, yeah, you share everything. Uh, my answer is no. If you tell me something and you tell me not to say something, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> you know, significant other or otherwise. And honestly, I think that's kind of dangerous, right? It's kind of dangerous, like, because now if just suppose I want to come do something to you because I know that you got some information that you not that, that you that you know, some information that could get me in trouble. 
But now I know you done told your significant other. And you done told the world. I tell my significant other. Now I got to take both of y'all out. <laughs> what, uh, what, uh, what are you talking about? What is I'm talking about you. Listen to what you're saying. Basically, he's saying he don't like people who run his mouth because certain things should be secretive, right? That, that's the truth. If, if, the, if, the, if, if somebody was coming to get you because they know you had some information that they got to take you out because you know this information, they also know that you like to tell your significant other. Now I got to take both of y'all out. But, so what are you into, Charlamagne? That's why if E-40 take you said... Out. That's why E-40 said never tell your woman all her all your business because she might end up being an eyewitness. Well, speaking of... Hello, who's this? <laughs> Happy birthday, my baby. Oh, hey, that's my baby. <laughs> What's up, baby? <laughs> Nothing, just waiting for you to come home after work. I have an amazing day planned for you. Ow, ow. <laughs> now, babe, <laughs> what, now, what, you, what, now, we were just having this conversation. I was telling them... If one of my friends tell me something, they are you supposed to tell your significant other? So if one of your friends tells you something that maybe they don't want you to repeat, do you tell me? I do. <laughs> See? And if and one of my friends tell so me hold something. On, hold on. Okay. It, 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 listen, all of my friends know. So it's it's technically it's not secret. I let them know ahead of time. Like if you tell me, you what are I indirectly say. telling my husband. And that's what so I said. If you don't if, want if, to know. If you don't want him to know, don't tell me. But see, that, there's a difference. Gia has given them the terms and conditions. Well, after Y'all a certain not time, doing you that. Just, no, after a certain time, you just Y'all know. Not, no, no, it's not no, after a certain time. You have to let the friend know. If the friend says, hey, I'm telling you this. I don't want you to tell nobody. If you say to them, hey, I got to tell my husband, and they continue to proceed to tell you, that's on them. Hey, Y'all Gia. not doing that. Y'all just taking the information and saying, oh, I got you. I got you. I ain't going to tell nobody. Hey, Gia, good go morning. How other. are you? Good morning. How are you, beautiful? I'm doing good. Don't you feel like there's a kind of like a, a unspoken rule though at a certain point with your friends where they know certain things are probably going to be, be discussed with y'all? Do you feel like that? Is that a thing? Absolutely. That's what positively. I'm saying, Charlotte. And if you are said friend and you know that your friend has a boo, if you don't want it to be repeated, you can't tell that friend. All right. Well, thank you, baby. You're welcome. Hurry so home. Uh, Lauren LaRosa, uh, she's coming out tonight with us, too. So she's going to be, uh, we partying with her tonight. She's coming out. Oh, is that right? Have your BC pot already. Well, everybody up here is coming out, so we're going to have a lot <laughs> mm-hmm. of fun. She already started. She already started giving me shots this morning. He only took one. Uh, he won't one do was another. Enough. One was enough, because I, I felt that one <laughs> shot. All right, baby, love you. Yeah, you got about eight more coming to you tonight. I know, you that's right. coming to work tomorrow, y'all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, we got a meeting after. I got to come to work. But, all right, baby, love Lauren. you. Lauren, all right, baby, love you, too. Lauren talk about bring your BC pot and not knowing that them guys from the 1900s like cocaine. Okay, you you gonna get introduced to a new type of pot of the night, Lauren. <laughs> I moved here from LA. It's the, I've been there, seen it. We have Bria on the line. Bria, good morning. Oh, Bria. Yes, it's Bria. Bria, do you tell your boyfriend everything? So I have a girlfriend, Envy, and I can tell you that's like my best friend. So I tell her everything. And either way, she can go here for seven years. And I- oh, your phone's cutting in and out, Bria find out <laughs> your phone was cutting out in and out Bria but you tell your girl everything you said you hear me yeah I can hear you now yeah so we've been together for seven years anyway can she go to my phone this is God way this is God way of saying he wants y'all to shut the hell up on this radio this morning okay mm-hmm. y'all don't respect your, your your word means nothing hello who's this Manny from North Carolina. Manny from North Carolina. Now, if your if your people tell you something, do you tell your girl or your wife? I'm telling. I'm telling. I'm telling. As soon as I get <laughs> off the phone, I'm telling my wife. Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. If some hey, y'all stuff some suckers. Chat that we can't that we can't let leak out. It's some stuff that they'll tell me specifically. Look, don't tell your wife. But yeah. if, it's, if it's just general information, she's gonna find out. <laughs> well, that's the, but that, that, once again, these people are laying down their terms and conditions. Mm-hmm. They asking you, don't tell your wife. Or you and some say of y'all when you first hit, some of y'all get told that and still go tell your wife. No, nah, no, nah, that's a little crazy. But I'm the one in the group chat that everybody call for their advice. They everybody tells me everything, so they already know I'm gonna tell it. Mm-hmm. Or you know Thank they you, hit you with the who you with who when you, you with? when you call yeah like hey who you with who you in the car with it's just like okay that's, that's the worst thing when you ask somebody who you with. And you want to speak for who you with? See, the, the good group chat's got a code. We don't even got to say who you with to be asking who you with. Yo, what's your code? What I'm you not, say? No, what? Put it out there. Mm-mm. That's why you're single. No. Because you got a code. <laughs> 800-585-1051. We're asking, do you tell your significant other everything? If your friends say, I'm going to tell you something, do you tell your man? Do you tell your girl? Let's discuss. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Call, 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 call. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Made it. Tell her. Tell her. 
talking about it. You know we talking about it. It's Topic Time. Call 800-585-1051 to join into the discussion with The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, Lauren LaRosa is filling in for Jess. We're asking, uh, if you're told a secret, do you tell your significant other? That is the question. Hello, who's this? Hey, good morning. This is Jamila. Hey, Jamila. Good morning. Good morning. Do you tell your significant other everything? The, well, I do, right? But not on some, not always on some like, oh, I got some tea for you. Um, sometimes, you know, you you tell your significant other something out of accident, like y'all having a conversation because y'all communicate on a daily basis or a whole lot or often, and you know y'all are talking about a certain situation and y'all just you, you know. It just comes up in the conversation. Like, it don't have to be like, ooh, you know, I got some tea. But I might just tell you just because we're talking about something that might be related to that situation. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, mama. It just slips out. Hello, who's this? Hey, how you doing? This is Lo. Lo, what's up? We're asking, do you tell your significant other everything? Yes, for the most part, I do. Now, it just depends on the sensitivity of the, the, the information, like hypothetical, when I was in the military. Yeah, if I got to go to Iraq, I can tell you that, but I can't give you mission-specific details, you know what I'm saying? Because then that'll compromise the the uh, security of everyone else, if that makes sense. That's right. Well, you're going too far now. We were just talking about some gossip. No, he's, he's, know, he's, 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 know, he's, he's a, right. But that's a good example to use, because I was listening to you guys on the radio, so, you know, I mean, I, I mean, I think that's the best example. Okay. You're absolutely right. That's what I was telling them just now. A lot of times you put, you know, your people in danger because if you have some information that is uh, detrimental to someone and people think it's only you now that they know you also tell your significant other everything I gotta take them out too what y'all working for the CIA Big, Big Twizzy what it do what up Big Twizzy where you calling from I'm calling from Cincinnati Ohio first I wanna say I love y'all man we love you back brother Charlamagne, you make me proud every day you make me proud every day I love you thank lady. you King thank you so we asking 800-585-1051 If one of your homies Tell you something bro Do you go back And tell your wife Or your girl Listen to me You don't tell it You don't You know why Why You and your girl be mm -hmm. Y'all let the barbecue At a party Jeremy over there With his girl You wasn't saying that Jeremy cheating on his So I know You know what I mean Oh Damn. yeah <laughs> She's definitely a sad Throw it in your face Eventually Or throw it at your people And then you looking like Ugh yeah. Seems like this happened To you before bro Man, I done been through it all. You know what I mean? Damn. But you also know which friends your girl don't like. I've seen it all, done it all. And it's crazy, but keep that, fella. Sit on that, be quiet, quit being chatty patties out here, dudes. Okay. Yeah, I, I, it's just Thank a respect you. thing, too. All you got is your word and your your, your word. Your, your word should be bond. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if somebody says to you, don't tell nobody, and you say to that person, I got you, I'm not going to tell nobody, but then you go tell the wife, you can't sit around and and, 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 and and rationalize that by saying, oh, it's just a given. That's my wife. No, you gave that person your word that you're not going to say nothing to nobody. Hello, who's this? It's Crystal. Hey, Crystal. Good morning. Where you calling from? Virginia. Virginia. What part? I'm Newport News. I just seen you the weekend. Oh, you was at the Cousins Festival? Of course. That was LA. That's my people. Oh, that, well, wasn't that such a beautiful festival that they put on? It was. We had a ball. We sure did. Well, now, 800-585-1051. We're asking, if your man tells you something, your people tell you something, are you going back and telling your significant other? No, because you don't know if, you know, your significant mm -hmm. other is a blabbermouth because they have people that they trust too. So, of course, they may go home and tell their wife or husband, and they trust somebody too. So, if you tell them, they might be like, oh, I can't hold the key, so I need to tell somebody. But... I just don't agree with it. Nobody needs nobody. Okay. Thank you, Mama. So what's the moral of the story, guys? The moral of the story is your word should be your bond. So if somebody comes to you and somebody says, hey, don't tell nobody, you either tell that person, look, you know I'm going to tell my wife, or you give that person your word and you stand on that. You don't tell nobody. Okay. Well, I'm just telling everybody out there now, if you tell me something, I'm going to tell my wife immediately. <laughs> so we know we're clear. Tell them. <laughs> Who are you telling, Lauren? 
Why are you being funny? Why are you being funny? <laughs> Who are you telling, Lauren? Why are you being funny? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you telling, Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. oh. Put a ring on it. All right. <laughs> Just put a ring on it. We got Jess with the mess coming up with Lauren LaRose. What are we talking about? We do. Adele is taking a break. She wants to start and uh, live her new life that she's created for herself. So she's taking a break from music. All right. We'll get into that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. All right. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV. Jess Hilarious. Charlemagne, the guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Lauren LaRosa filling in for Jess. Good morning. What's happening? Happy birthday to our Virgo brother, DJ NV. Thank Big you, thank Virgo you, thank you, thank energy you. here. Yes. Big Virgo energy, man. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, guys. I so don't much. like too many male Virgos, to be honest with you. Envy might be like the only one. Why? What's your it. issue? Oh, I got a lot of issues. He has a lot. Virgo, don't don't start. Don't, don't, don't yeah. start. Y'all both, <laughs> be, uh, both? Don't start. Aren't you a cancer? Yes, I mm. am. Oh, uh, uh, Best sign a, there is. It's the feelings thing. It's a battle of the emotions. Yeah. Nah, it's just a lot of male Cancers Virgos never I've met been suckers. Nah, it's just a lot of male Virgos I've met been a He's sucker. Been Not a lot of them. There's, there's some He's really good ones, though. Like my man, uh, there's a lot of good ones. As a matter of fact, it's two that I can think of. Envy and uh, my man Swiss Beat. Salute to Swiss. Shout out to Swizzy. Swiss is a Virgo, right? Swiss is a Virgo. Yeah. Uh, Ludacris is a Virgo. Uh, Luda, Nas yeah, is a Virgo. Luda. Beyonce okay, Nas, is a Virgo, yeah. but she... Um, she's a woman. She's a woman, but just, you know... Well, yeah, I'm only basing this off one person. You know that's all it takes. <laughs> just one person. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy. That's all. He's it's going over my head. It's a shot. Huh? It's going over my head. It's a shot. I'm going to be able to recall in a second. All right. Well, we got Jess with the mess with Lauren LaRosa coming up. What are we talking about? Yes. Um, Adele, she is taking a break after she finishes her residency in Vegas. She needs some time. Okay. Isn't she getting married? Isn't she, she's engaged, right? We're going to get into all of what, you know, okay. what the break may entail. All right. We'll get into that next. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Lauren LaRosa filling in for Jess. And let's get to Jess with the mess with Lauren LaRosa. The news is real, brother. Sorry, it's Jessica Robin Moore. Just don't do no lies. Don't do no lies. She don't nobody. Worldwide Jess. Worldwide mess. On The Breakfast Club. She's a coach of shoes. With Lauren. Lauren LaRosa. I'm back. And I got the mess. Talk, talk to me. So over the holiday weekend, Adele made a big revelation that she is actually going to be taking a step back and taking a break. Um, she didn't specify for exactly how long, but she did tell fans while on stage that it was going to be for a very long time. Let's take a listen. I have really enjoyed performing for nearly three years now, which is the longest I've ever done and probably the longest I will ever do. Um, but I am, um, I have 10 shows left after this. Um, but after that, I will not see you for an incredibly long time. And I will hold you dear in my heart for that whole next of my break. It has been amazing. I just need a rest. And I have spent, I have spent seven years. She got a man now. She got emotional at the end. So at the end of that video, she gets emotional. She's talking about she's created this whole new life for herself, and she just wants to live that life. So she does get emotional. Mm -hmm. And yes, that's the first thing fans started saying is, "Look, Rich Paul bringing my girl back inside." She, you know, um, we we talked about this a bit where she had flashed the ring to the audience to a fan who had a "Will you marry me?" sign, and she was like, "I can't marry you. I'm already engaged." Mm -hmm. So people are speculating that that means a wedding is coming, potentially maybe more kids. She already does have a son from her previous marriage mm -hmm. um but she said over these last like year or two that new music is not in her near future she wants to work on other creative projects okay um her, her i mean she's still selling well she had over like seventy five thousand people show up in germany oh wow she still has the vegas residency she has to complete so she's still making the money it just seems like you know she's 36 she wants to she focus to live on her life That's yeah all. She uh, adele be. is home already y'all she's been home adele is her okay now she got her man uh she's rich she want to live her life. Ain't nothing wrong you with know? that. Tired of being in these streets. You don't want to be outside no more. Lauren can't relate. I knew it was Damn. coming. Damn. Lauren. Like, what? I felt, it's like you I felt, felt the shade. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. What'd I say? All right. Uh, moving on. Mm -hmm. Mace and Cam, they uh, brought back It Is What It Is. This is their fifth season that they kicked it off. And you know how um, Cam does the freestyle sometimes. Yep. This time around for the new season, Mace dropped a freestyle to welcome us back. Man. He went in on that freestyle. I was thinking, yeah, like, man. he killed it. It's not too many artists that like are like my rappers right now that that amount of time 
could pass and they're gonna be that people forget that how good. nice Mace, uh, how nice Mace was like they think of Mace and they think of the Diddy records and the uh, what you wanna want what you wanna but Mace you, Mace gets busy like busy busy I, I will say Mace and Cam's flows uh, have have aged very well yes. oh amazing like because, fine wine. Because, be, yeah, because neither one of them sound much different than they did when they was younger. It's right. just that their flows and deliveries have aged just have aged very very well. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know any other way to say it. Yes, sir. And um, uh, Mace also addressed the Ozempic rumors that uh, people have been asking about. Take a listen. You took the needle. Nah, you took the, they said you look like you took the needle. They said you might That's have taken the hate you, I want. <laughs> That's the hate I needed right there. That was all. So so what'd you do to lose the weight, man? Uh, Man, I I signed up with this this coach named Ricky Moore. That's um, like a professional bodybuilder. And he just put me on an alkaline diet. So I'm I'm only eating fruit, vegetable, and water for now. What's wrong with if he did take Ozempic? Why is it such a thing for men to have to be like, I didn't take Ozempic? Like, why do y'all think everybody that loses weight now has to be on Ozempic? Like, you know, there, there is still ways to lose weight without doing Ozempic. Y'all yeah. do know it'd that, be right? so fast, but though, it'd be for so some fast, people. though. You know, so it's like when when you see people and they lose the weight in in a couple of weeks, people are like, wait a minute, wait a minute, like you can't lose weight that fast healthy. So people automatically assume. It's Ozempic. I just don't understand if he did do it and he said he didn't. But if he did, what is the issue? Like, is that a thing? Because y'all go and take those little powder supplements to build muscle, but you can't do anything to reverse all the... Like, I'm confused. I mean, it's it's a question that... And, and maybe we should open up the phone lines, too. 800 585 I also never looked at Mason and thought Mason's fat. So I mean, he wasn't fat, but he was he was a little he was a little uh you know eating good, living good. And by, and by the way, you'll be surprised how if you cut out uh, alcohol, if you cut out sugars, if you cut out carbs, and you really do just stick to like a really healthy diet and water for a couple of weeks, you'll be you'll you'll see some results pretty fast. Yeah. So let's let's open up the phone lines when we come back after Donkey eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. You know, uh, a lot of people, I think it's like Ozempic shaming, right? They said yeah. Mace did it. They said Lizzo did it. They said uh, Comedian Rel did it. So 800-585-1051. I mean, if people use Ozempic, why is that a negative? What's wrong with the pick? Like, like you know, why? why? Why is that a negative? I just think it's a negative when people take Ozempic and then say they worked out for it. But that's the same thing as like girls and guys now getting their bodies done and, and then going to the gym. It's like you just sometimes you're, you're ashamed to say you had to get some help. But people follow these individuals like somebody will follow Lizzo and be like, oh, well, I want to be on the same oh. routine as that. And then they start doing it and they can't lose 60 pounds in two weeks, three weeks. And Who lose. said that they losing 60 I'm just pounds saying, well, in two that weeks? Much, you know what I mean? <laughs> Y'all just making stuff up. Two right? weeks, three weeks is a little extreme. Well, yeah. But what you get what he's saying, though, is like, no, I don't. Yeah, because the girls that be doing a flat tummy tea, it'd be really people buying them teas thinking okay I'm gonna look like sis and no cause Sh- sis has bought a flat tummy tea before Really? I ain't never bought no flat tummy tea. By the way, uh, even yeah. when it comes to people like Mace and Lizzo you know y'all don't be seeing these people for weeks right? And so, and you, and you don't see their routines every day so you don't know how they eating you don't know how they working out you don't know what they doing and then they pop out and I ain't and, 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 you know what never mind. Well, well, what? You what? You what? You wanna pick? No, I just ain't been paying attention to Lizzo to see the the weight. No, that she Lizzo, lost. Lizzo looks good. Like she, I mean, okay, she, it's not like insanely super skinny. I'm not for sure, but she, you, she noticeably looks different than some of her previous posts. Even though there's still weight there, but she looks great. And when the, and, and when y'all saw this reveal, I didn't think Ozempic long, with Lizzo. How long? How long have you seen? When the last time you seen Lizzo before this reveal is what I'm saying. I don't even remember. Honestly. Exactly. That's my point. So you, these people could be working out every day, eating, you know, doing what they're supposed to be doing, but then y'all just blame it on Ozempic. I'm I'm not mad at Ozempic. If Ozempic's going to get you to that weight that you need to make you a healthier person so that weight is not on your limbs, that weight is not on your heart, I'm not mad at it. Also, oh, this is something that people have been doing for a very long time. It's just now we're talking about it. How long you did? When was the last time you did it? No, Ozempic I'm, I'm little. Uh, Ozempic is not new. Yes, well, I mean it's new for us. Like, for, yeah, uh, back in the yeah, yeah you, you, know, you used on, to lose weight it. around us. We say you was you had AIDS. You was on crack. crack. Yeah, it was crack. 
All right, well, we'll talk about <laughs> it when we come crazy. back. 800-585-1051. Why is it a negative thing? That was Jess with the, Jess with the mess with Lauren LaRosa. Now, Charlamagne, who are you giving that down to? Oh, man, we need Donald Trump to come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with him this morning, please. All right, we'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. America. America has a problem. Tell him, tell him. Man. The been overturned. They're taking black jobs. The Supreme Court has issued a ruling on the extent of presidential immunity from criminal prosecution. A shocking body camera video released today shows the deadly police shooting. It feels like my country doesn't love me. Charlemagne, now is not the time to sit this one out. It's time for Donkey of the Day. America is a big reality TV show. On The Breakfast Club. Would you rather have the black president or the white president? I have a problem figuring out whether you're from me or Trump, and you ain't black. Uh, it, it's enough. America has a problem. Uh, yes, Donkey of the Day for Tuesday, September 3rd, DJ Envy's Born Day. Yes. Uh, goes to the 45th president of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump, a man I call Dote 45, a man who is running to be president again. But I've already told you, I truly don't believe he wants to run anymore. Okay, this man was facing 88 criminal charges. Uh, I think it was 88. I lose count. He was convicted of 34 of them. He's been shot at. At some point, enough has to be enough. And I truly believe he wants the Republicans to do him the way the Democrats did Joe Biden. Yes, Trump wants out. But Republicans have become the party of cowards because they've let MAGA just take over and MAGA has completely wiped its ass with traditional conservative values. So they don't have the courage to push him out because they are scared of how the coat of MAGA will react. Now, when I say to folks... I don't think Donald Trump wants to run anymore. They look at me like I'm insane. Well, I have, uh, you know, new evidence to back up my claims, and that's why we are here today. See, Donald Trump, a man who faced a federal indictment, which accused him of illegally trying to overturn the 2020 election loss. In fact, a week ago, Trump faced a revised federal indictment of that charge with prosecutors narrowing their approach after a U.S. Supreme Court ruled that former presidents have broad immunity from criminal prosecution. Yes, you all remember that ruling that happened over the summer where they basically made presidents above the law. So Trump is immune from criminal prosecution for actions that were within his constitutional powers as president. And clearly he's standing on that. OK, because he did an interview with Fox News yesterday. And according to Donald J. Trump and the J must stand for jackass. He had every right to interfere in the 2020 election. I can't make this kind of stuff up. People, let's go to Fox News to listen. It's so crazy that my poll numbers go up. Whoever heard you get indicted for interfering with a presidential election where you have every right to do it. You get indicted and your poll numbers go up. Can I, can, can I hear it one more time, Red, please? Just one more time. It's so crazy that my poll numbers go up. Whoever heard you get indicted for interfering with a presidential election where you have, have every right to do it, you get indicted and your poll numbers go up. Donald J. Trump is over it. Okay, Donald J. Trump is over it, okay? Donald J. Trump don't give a damn about the law. He doesn't give a damn about the Constitution. He doesn't give a damn about running for president no more. And he doesn't give a damn about your right to vote in a free and fair election, okay? He was just... Okay, re-indicted again last week, all right, for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. And then you sit with Fox News on Sunday and say you had every right to do it. You had every right to interfere with the results of a free and fair election. That one statement defies logic, decency, and the principles of democracy all at once. Okay, I don't know if Donald Trump is arrogant or stupid. The safe bet is both. All right, because he openly admits that he believes he has the right to meddle with the democratic process. CNN, MSNBC, Fox, topics like this should be what you make points of debate. Okay, whether Vice President Kamala Harris is black, whether Vice President Kamala Harris is a DEI hire, those are nothing burgers. Compared to the fact that a former president who was indicted for attempting to overturn the results of the election just told you he believes he had every right to do it because in his mind, the presidency comes with a golden ticket to do whatever you want, including disregarding the very foundation of American democracy. Donald Trump is truly the Frankenstein monster of white supremacy. Mm. He is what happens when privilege goes unchecked. Okay, Donald Trump is the only white man in America who makes other white men in America feel like niggas. Okay, 
Let's just talk about the fact that the United States is a country built on the principle that the will of the people expressed through free and fair elections is sacred. Okay, elections are not supposed to be tampered with by people in power. Okay, they are meant to reflect what we the people want. But we have a person who swore an oath to uphold the Constitution, claiming that he had the right to undermine the very process that ensures the peaceful transfer of power. The same man who said we should terminate parts of the Constitution to overthrow the results of the election is at it again. Listen, I don't have to tell you how dangerous this is, do I? Okay, this is the same mindset that erodes trust in our democratic institutions and encourages Dakota Maga to believe that rules don't apply to them if they don't like the outcome. And it's this mindset that led to an attempted coup of this country on January 6, 2021. I don't care what your political affiliation is. I don't care what party you represent. But at the end of the day, we all have to believe in democracy. And when Trump talks like this, it's a slap in the face to those of us who believe in democracy. It's a slap in the face to democracy, period. It's like we prostitutes and he's just peeing on us because he feels like he can. Okay, he has a sense of entitlement that I believe naturally exists in him. But then when you have a Supreme Court that is no longer legitimate and does his bidding, and gave him presidential immunity and he has all these elected officials that are MAGA all around the country and they will refuse to certify the results of the election when you hold in all those trump cards no pun intended you talk spicy like how he's talking right here let me hear the clip again right it's so crazy that my poll numbers go up whoever heard you get indicted for interfering with a presidential election where you have every right to do it you get indicted and your poll numbers go up. America. 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 Do we believe in democracy or not? If so, what are we going to do about this man who openly admits to what can only be described as an attack on democracy? And once again, I don't care if you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, nobody. Okay, nobody. Whether you're Republican, Democrat, independent, corporate lobbyists, these PACs, nobody, no matter how powerful, has the right to interfere with the will of the people. Please let Remy Ma give Donald J. Trump the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb. There's no way in hell that CNN, MSNBC, Fox, well maybe not Fox because... Their agenda is to make Trump look great at all costs. But CNN, MSNBC, every other news outlet, these should be your points of debate all week. Okay, if this doesn't feed into the Trump wants to be a dictator narrative, then I don't know what does. All right. Hmm? No, it's okay. What are you going to say? I was going to ask what energy you think he's going to be giving at the debate. Oh, I think that uh, Donald Trump is going to get dog walked at the debate. And the reason I think he's going to get dog walked at the, at the debate is because there's really no way uh, Vice President Kamala Harris can lose. Because let's just say, you know, it's a it's a healthy debate where they respectfully, you know, uh, disagree with each other. Never. That, we, exactly. Right. <laughs> but let's just say hypothetically that does happen. You know, in that case, she'll just win off knowing more she'll just went off being an experienced politician who understands policy and things of that nature um she'll win off that but to your point lauren we know that's not going to be the case so he's going to over talk her he's going to overpower her he's going to insult her and he's going to look like a madman up there so she really can't lose either way yeah i don't, I don't think he'll do that because they're going to mute those mics though but I think he's going to look crazy. He's going to look tired. I think he's going to try to disrespect her, like you said. I, I think he's going to try to all types of false claims. He's going to he's going to get up there sounding. Stupid. I don't think they should mute the mics. If I was the, if I was the vice president, I would want the mics open just for that for the, exactly for the reason I just said. Because he's going to try to overtalk her. He's going to insult her. He's 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 go, he's going to be cutting her off. Let him look like a madman. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. Now, if you just joined us, we were asking 800-585-1051. Salute to Mace. Uh, it, is what, it is what it is, right? Yes, That's it the is name what of, it is. The name of the show. Yeah, uh, fifth season. Cameron, the fifth season just came out. And he, uh, when he came back, he lost a lot of weight. People said he was on Ozempic, but he said he worked out. So we're asking 800-585-1051. It seems like a thing where people lose weight. The first thing people say is Ozempic. We've seen it with Lizzo. We've seen it with Comedian Rel. So we're asking... Is Ozempic a negative thing? Why do y'all shame Ozempic so much? 
I don't even think it's about shaming those Olympics. I just think that they be hating when they see people lose a lot of weight because they don't have the discipline, the dedication, you know, to, to make the lifestyle changes to lose the weight. So they just want to put Olympic on everybody. All right. So we're asking, is it a negative thing? Why is it a negative thing? Let's discuss this. The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. It's topic time. Call 800-585-1051 to join into the discussion with The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Salari, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Lauren LaRosa filling in for Jess. If you're just joining us, we're asking Ozempic. Is it, why is it so negative? This came up from a conversation. Shout to uh, Murder Mace. He uh, came back for his fifth season of their show, It Is What It Is, with Cameron, and people said he lost a lot of weight. It was Ozempic. We've seen that happen with Lizzo. We've seen it happen with Lil Rel. So we're asking, why is Ozempic a negative thing? All right, let's start with you, Lauren. Do you think it's a negative thing? I don't think it's negative. I think if you got, if that's what you need to do to help you. Some people have issues where they can't, even if they are consistent, they can't lose weight. So, you know what I mean? Do what you need to do, even if not. Do whatever it is you want to do. I yeah, I, I'm with you. I, I, I say do whatever it is to make you happy. The only problem I have is when uh, people pretend that they're working out and they're really taking a shot. And, and especially with celebrities, the reason I hate it is people follow celebrities a lot. So they'll feel like, you know what, if this celebrity's doing it, this is inspiration for me. And really, that that celebrity is taking a shot. Whose fault is that, though? Because why would you believe what someone's posting on Instagram? All right, perfect example. You remember when Oprah was doing Weight Watchers? Yeah. And people thought that, example, you remember when Oprah was doing Weight Watchers? Yeah. And people thought that they didn't think about it. Do Weight Watchers? Did but, you believe that? But it was also... Man, right? please. Y'all I, had Khaled out here with a whole Weight Watchers deal and ain't nobody say nothing. Say, Khaled ain't lose a damn pound. Uh, excuse me, last time I was here, I said something. Y'all was like, ooh, that's a shot. And I'm like, no, he really be working out and no, never loses weight. No, he took the shot. We didn't think he... Yo, get out of here. <laughs> I just don't think that they're... Like, if, if if you believe that, that's on you to be that gullible. And yeah, people do what they need to do. All right, well... Charlamagne, what you well, think? I, I don't, I, I don't think it's considered negative. I think nowadays when you see someone lose weight, that's just a trendy thing to say. Oh, you want that Olympic? But mad people lose weight the old-fashioned way. Right. Okay, there's people still out here smoking crack. Oh, all right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> old-fashioned. I thought you mean like gym. Oh yeah, that one too. Yes, yeah. There's people out here, Jesus. you know, losing weight the old-fashioned way, eating right, going to the gym. You know, doing what they're supposed to do. So we're asking 800-585-1051. Is it a negative thing? Hello, who's this? Good morning. Hey, good morning. What's your name? My name is Sierra. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, it's Sierra. Dan, Sierra, why you sound so mad? Because it's my birthday and I have to work. Oh, oh happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. We twins. Oh, well. You're my birthday twin. Twin, where have yeah, you been? Yeah, I was trying to call earlier to tell you happy birthday. But um, I'm calling to speak on this crazy topic this morning. Let's talk. Yes, ma'am. So some people hate because it took them over 300 years, 300 months to get to get skinny. And they, they've right. done the work. They work out. They exercise regularly. They manage their stress. They change their eating habits. And it took them years to get smaller. So, of course, they're going to hate on those who take the easy right, the easy way out. Yeah, but uh, you know what? I agree with you. And I said that earlier. But the reality is, and this is what I want to tell everybody who's, you know, doing it the hard way right like uh those results will last longer right. and you won't have side effects because we don't know what the side effects are of ozempic are i'm hearing all type of different things nowadays too, there's too. going to be side effects to losing weight that fast because of a shot so everybody out there that's doing it the good old-fashioned way eating right working out salute to y'all well we have okay we have diane on the line now diane you was on ozempic i was yes how much weight did you lose a 50 pounds. Mm. How wow. much diarrhea did you have? Uh, none, actually. Um, oh, okay. I was fortunate that I didn't have um, any of the side effects. Okay. Um, Not yet, anyway. But I, I know that it's looked at negatively, but for me, I feel like it saved my life. Um, mm. Simply because I had a lot of underlying health issues, um, and it was hard for me to lose weight, even though I was working out and tried every single diet I could possibly try. Um, and now I'm in the best health of my life. Like I work out, I eat healthy, and it's just been the best thing for me. And I remember when I started like seeing the weight loss, a lot of my friends were like, what are you on Ozempic? You took the easy way out. And I was like, well, I did what I thought was best for my health, and I'm glad that I did. Okay. You know, it's interesting, right? Because um, a lot of people take Ozempic 
right, to lose weight because, you know, you want to have better cardiovascular health. But they also say people with pre-existing heart conditions should be cautious of taking and those talk Olympic. to your doctor before yeah. you start taking those Olympic. Absolutely. Yeah, for me, my doctor is the one that recommended it. Um, I was pre-diabetic. Mm. Um, and now, like I said, I'm in the best health that I've ever been. Wow. Well, I'm happy to well, hear Thank that. you so much, Diane. All right. Have a great day. You too. 800-585-1051. We're talking about Ozempic. Uh, is that a negative thing? Why does it have uh, such a negative thing that people are using it? Let's discuss. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. It's topic time. Pick up the phone, baby. Call 800-585-1051 to join into the discussion with The Breakfast Club. Let's talk about it. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Lauren LaRosa is filling in for Jess. If you're just joining us, we're talking about Ozempic. And we're asking, why is it such joining us? We're talking thing. We were talking about it because Mace uh, is a negative. It is what it is. They came back with their season five. And people said he was under the knife uh, or oh, taking the shot. They said Lizzo took the shot. They said Little Rel took the shot. So why is it such a negative I thing? I, I, I don't think it's being looked at as negative. I just think that that is the natural thing people say when they see folks lose weight. And I think, you know, there is a certain amount of jealousy and envy that comes comes into play when you see people lose weight especially if you a fat ass you know what i'm saying right. if you fat and you know you you haven't disciplined yourself enough to lose the weight and you see somebody lose the weight you just want to say ah oh, man they just on that ozempic they just on that ozempic no some of these people actually you know put in the work right that you haven't that is but let's go to the phone lines we got april on the line april good morning good morning Good morning, guys. How are you all? Good morning. So we're talking about uh, Ozempic. What's your thoughts? Well, I think with Ozempic, you know, people can lose as much weight as they like. But with Ozempic, it's it's a shortage. Like, people that need that insulin, that has diabetes, people are just pumping it into their bodies. And now you see lawsuits all over social media. So, yeah, I just feel like people, you know, if it's their thing, it's their thing. But be considerate of those that actually need that, you know, that medicine. That's, that's real. Okay. Well, thank you, Mama. But, you know, with the people losing weight, mm -hmm. I mean, people are going to lose whatever. Think about it in, in the 70s, 80s, when they lost weight, they said they were on crack. So, if they lose weight now, of course, they're going to feel empty. So, it's just, Cracking you know, AIDS. Okay. Right. So, it's no different. Okay. Hello? Question, when you're on Ozempic, do they, do, they take, do they shoot you in your big back? Like, where do they put the shot at? I, I don't know, sir. I don't sir. know. I, I don't I, know. Yeah. Uh, well, hello. Who's this? This Tony. Tony, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. But yeah, man, my th my thoughts on the Olympic though. Yep. <laughs> um, so I feel like I feel like if you if you ain't, if you ain't work out with if you ain't work out for it, don't be acting like you worked out for it because as a person who done lost weight from working out, it's a whole different type of effort. It's a mindset that you gotta lock into, and you gotta work it like you working a job to really lock into, and you gotta. Work it like, but I don't feel like it's nothing to lose weight when you're doing it on your own. Wrong with Ozip because sometimes people need helpers, man. That's right. All right. Well, thank you. So Google says no that problem. you get Ozempic shots in the front of your thighs, the front of your waist, your abdomen, or your upper arms. Now we have why not into that big back though? Well, we have Big Mac here who uh, here? he, he oh, wants I to get the Ozempic shot. That, huh? He said that uh, they told me oh. they'd have to put it in his butt. I what? want Mac to do something. No. I've been telling Mac. I told Mac I'll pay for his surgery a long time ago. I need Mac to do something, right. goddamn it. Well, first off, I have been on this journey since the beginning of the year, and I've lost a significant amount. Y'all just don't I see I know, that's right. And because y'all see me gold, every day. You? How much you lost? 125. You lost 125 pounds? I don't believe you. Yeah. I don't believe you either. I'll show you our picture in a second. <laughs> I told you I, I don't you don't when I came back in here. Even, even Brandon, uh, our other producer, he says, bro, I see you every day, but all his friends said, yo, Mac lost mad weight. Even in the comments, they said, I lost 125. But the thing is, I did it. Like, I'm in the gym. I do the 10,000 steps every day. Mac, I see you eat crazy. Mac, I, I see I how you eat. It. Boy, you ain't lying to me. Mac, no, you I eat crazy. What y'all seen him eat? What y'all seen him eat? Y'all have Cinnamon it. Toast Crunch snacks and I, no, rice crispies. Oh, that's crisp. the videos I do with Jess. But outside those little bites That's just stuff, a little cheat. I don't do that. But I've I seen you carry I, bags, but I throw and, the bags and, away. I'm going to show y'all the and before you should, and after. And you shouldn't be allowed to cheat. I'm, but I, I say this You've been cheating your whole life <laughs> Cheating is what got you to this point As, I, I've been on Ozempic since 2018 so You was on I, Ozempic? I don't I use it for actual diabetes My A1C and all that So That don't, don't work for you I don't, That's what I'm saying I don't get the weight loss stuff and all that But you shoot it 
You're supposed to shoot it. I don't want to see your stomach. No, no, no. It's a, it's I don't want to see your ass. You see, you turn around. So you like right. man talk envy. It's you one, fat in, one inch from your me. one inch from your belly button. You, you, that's where you take the shot. They, they you're supposed to shoot it either either Ooh. your thigh or in your belly, where actual fat is. You're not supposed to put it in your butt or no, you know, Charlemagne ass spot. So Why not the back? Fat? Why not your big back? Because it, it the, the fat is in your stomach mainly. In the back, it ain't really like like it's big, but it's not fat fat like this. <laughs> this my fat fat like this. <laughs> this big. <laughs> I can watch a movie on that back. <laughs> That's, That's what I'm IMAX back. It, yeah. I know IMAX, IMAX back, back when I see back. It's, it's a widescreen, wow. but it's not when like the old big back. The, you remember the old big back TVs? It's not a it's not a big back, but it's a wide back. It's pause. not a fat back. Gotcha. Yes. Well, congratulations yeah. for losing 125 Thank pounds. Thank you. It's a whole journey. We got a whole movement. Everybody doing 10,000 steps. They tag I me in it. I don't believe I'm, that. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. Right. You uh, look at uh, your, your hoodies is getting bigger. I'm going to show you right now. I, and How much did you weigh, Mac, prior? When I started this January 2nd, I started. I weighed 509. Jesus. How much you weigh now? 384 as of this morning. I know that's right. She I don't believe back. this for some reason. I'm about to show Envy the picture. 509. Right How many, like... I am a notorious Andre's big back shamer. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, you did. I told y'all he looked skinny when I wow. came back in here. Y'all tried to tell me I was crazy. Send wow. me the picture, Max. But he, Let it me look like he's holding his this. stomach in, though. Like, you know, when you take that picture, you hold your stomach in? No, that's a big difference. Wow. And he not even turned to the side. Like, he not cheating the angle. Now you're right. <laughs> you lose a lot of, I'm not, Mac, I'm proud of you, Max. <laughs> Lord say he not cheating the angle. He not. You know how you be having to do sometimes? <laughs> Suck it in and turn to the side? Lord have mercy. Yeah. Okay, Mac. Go, I'm, Mac. Proud of you, I'm, Mac. I'm happy for you. Thank y'all. <laughs> Well, whatever, however you losing the weight back, I'm happy. You 10, know what I'm 000 steps a day, everybody. I promise you. But why right. you ain't let Charlamagne fly you out and pay for your surgery? That's some baddies behavior. Because I didn't want to get under the knife. Oh, okay. I was scared. I, I thought you didn't want to have to do after the surgery, like because you know you got to pay him back. Yeah, it, well, yeah definitely not. Who and got you know, back? I don't want to have to pay Charlamagne back you, like Diddy. If you if, if you pay for his surgery, he got to pay you back. Yeah, that's how no, you do. Charlamagne is a treat. If, uh, if, if a guy pay for do that, if a guy pay for a girl surgery, don't the girl use the pain back later on? No. No. Oh, I don't. No. I'm doing that. I'm doing that because Mac is a great guy and I want Mac to live a long and prosperous life. Okay? We want him to go to Sawyer Medical, but he can't fit in the damn tube. Damn. <laughs> he can't fit in the, right. what, what he can't what's the thing they put us in envy? We at Sawyer Medical. I was gonna what say the gurney, it? but what's that thing like the little the sound? Yeah, the like like they they actually call. put you yeah. in there to scan. Mac can't fit in that thing. They can't do the one where you stand up against the wall? No. You know? I don't think so. All right. Well, what's the moral of the story? Don't play with Mac. What, you all right? I'm, I'm talking about my kids. My kids call me wish oh. happy birthday. Oh, my God. That's my little baby. She's FaceTiming me wish me happy birthday. The moral of the story is, y'all, Envy's kids are so beautiful. I got to oh, figure this out. my little babies. She's giving you a hug. Oh, giving me a hug through the phone. Love you, baby. Y'all, this is so Mwah. cute. All right. Well, we got Jess with the mess coming up with Lola Rosa. We do. Judge Mathis isn't so happy family wise um, and they called him out at LAX and he talks about not being okay after we found out that uh, they're potentially getting a divorce him and his wife for 39 years alright well we'll get into it later it's the Breakfast Club good morning the Breakfast Club morning everybody it's DJ NV Jess Hilarious Yo. show I mean the guy we are the Breakfast Club Lauren LaRosa hey. filling in for Jess Salute to my guy Wallow too, man. Y'all make sure y'all look out for Wallow's book. Wallow got a new book, or his first book dropping, uh, called Armed with Good Intentions. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna be in Philly with Wallow at uh Uncle Bobby's on September eleventh at seven PM. Uh as Wallow's new book comes out, Armed with Good Intentions. I pr I'm pretty sure it comes out September September tenth. Okay. I believe it comes out because I'll be in Philly on September eleventh with him uh at Uncle Bobby's at Green Street. Friend school at 7 p.m. So go get your tickets for that. Okay. All right. Well, let's get to Jess with the Mess with Lauren LaRosa. The news is real. Weather is real. Lauren's Jessica Robin Moore. Jess don't do no lies. Don't do no lies. She don't spare nobody. Worldwide Jess. Worldwide Mess. On The Breakfast Club. She's the coach of shit. With Lauren. Lauren LaRosa. I'm back. And I got the mess. Talk, talk to me. Man, Judge Mathis, uh, he's not doing too well. You guys remember we reported that his wife of 39 years, Linda 
filed for divorce listing the separation date as far back as July 17th and we were trying to figure out if this was a long time coming or not mm -hmm. because of how long they've been together well TMZ caught up with him shout out to Blair everywhere my bro caught up with uh, Judge Mathis at LAX and here's what Judge Mathis had to say about the divorce Mathis how are you doing man? I'm good how you doing? I'm doing alright I'm not good rather it's the worst days of my life how about that? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, with news of the separation, how are you holding up? Not holding up very well. I would say the uh, other man. Maybe I'll be an uh, example for other man. Cautionary tale. Don't neglect your wife. You see how me at the airport now, flying out, as I have for 25 years. My wife has been third, serving the community, taping my show, having fun with friends. That's what happens, guys. Never be too busy or never have too much fun beyond your wife. Ever since we uh, started taping here in L.A., I committed to staying home more and being, making my wife more, more of a priority. But as you see, I haven't. We're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Man. Oh, man, I respect that so much. Drop on the clues bonds for Judge Mathis. Yeah, yeah that, that's real game right there. That, he, he wants his lady back. He's being honest about, you know, his shortcomings, how he neglected his wife. He's telling other brothers, let me be the cautionary tale. Like, I respect that, man. Salute to Judge Mathis. Yeah, and, and like you said, it ain't nothing worse than trying to get your queen back or, or messing up something your household is messed up. No good ever comes with that. So the fact that he's trying to fight for his life and fight for his marriage and fight for his relationship, that's the most, most important thing. And, you know, I was there, so I mm -hmm. know exactly what it feels like, what it means and all that. So keep fighting, brother. He, um, they also addressed, because people were like, yo, y'all been together for 39 years, and all of a sudden, she just wants to file for divorce, and he, he said it was because of the neglect, but people were like, there has to be more to it. Did you cheat? Did you whatever? So he addressed that as well, too. I just wanted to eliminate all the rumors, too, that it's something about a baby or even me uh, molesting a child. It's none of that. I've just told what? you what it is. <laughs> neglect can create suspicion, certainly. And if you're gone as much as I am, you have every right to suspect. You know, you go to work, you go serving the community around the country, then you go with That's your crazy. guys to sporting events around the country, you go to other events with, except without your wife, hanging with you and enjoying herself with you. And so, yeah, she would have a right to suspect infidelity. But there's none of that going on. That's not the purpose. I never heard none of that. Yeah. Where the I hell did molesting the child come from? Y'all know I be hearing the things. I ain't heard that one. But I did think when I saw the filing, at because of so much time and their mm -hmm. age, I I instantly thought he must have got caught. Mm. Like, I don't know why that was the first thing that clicked in my mind. But I'm glad he cleared it up. Um, moving on to another couple, or not couple anymore, J-Lo. You guys remember we reported that J-Lo... Filed for divorce from Ben Affleck, all yes. that good stuff. Yep, yep. Well, mm -hmm. she was enjoying her Labor Day weekend. We actually had uh, posted about this on the Breakfast Club. And she was Brown, outside. Brown Girl Grinding Instagram. And we told you guys that you could tune in today to hear some more on this. So, J-Lo, I mean, she did like a, you know how you do like the photo dumps? Yep, yep, yep. Online. So, she did her little photo dump. And uh, her caption said, oh, it was a summer. And her photo choices are just very risque, very selective. You know, J-Lo's fine. So, she's always being fine she has a bathing suit on yeah but it's the, it's not even a bikini it's the, what's it's, so risque it's the booty in the where you could she knows what she's doing with this photo right here and then the caption oh was a summer and then she started posting in between those like you know you put the little memes mm -hmm. one of the memes says something about things unraveling the way that they're supposed to or divinely or something like that and it just was given like you know making it known jenny on the black block is Black, Jenny on the black. Jenny on the block Jenny is on black, black. Back on the block, okay? She back outside. You too old for that, J-Lo. I, I, I saw her with her cheeks out on the gram. She you not know? too old for a bathing suit. No, she's not too old for a baby. Too, she she too old. She too old for you to be saying what you saying about her. She back outside. She back on the block. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Ooh, no, she no, back she, outside. Yeah. No, she grown. Make her mad okay. again. <laughs> Better yeah, for right. who? Well, I mean, I could be just reading into it because you know I'm young and a little traumatized, and you know girls do the post after the breakup. You got to pop mm. out. Um, but in other news, in other couple news, Cardi B posted her photo of her maternity pictures, which people sparked some backlash because the word pedophile was in the back on the garage. What? Yes. Now, she said that this was not meaningfully done. They just chose a random spot because they were trying to get away from paparazzi. Where the hell do you see pedophile? In, in white on the back of the garage photo. If you guys want to take a look at these photos, I'll be posting it to the um, Brown Girl Grinder Instagram and 
We'll get it over to Breakfast Club as well, too. I but still don't see it. In the white, it's there. In me. I don't see no. I'm glad you don't oh, see Petty I Files. See I'm happy. Now. Yes. I see it now. I see it now. Well, question. Whose building is that? And why did somebody spray paint Pedophile on we have no, no, We have no idea. And she just basically said, look, they picked a random street. They took the photos real quick because paparazzi was handing her down. Leave Cardi alone. Just, yeah, it just looks like she wanted a graffiti wall. It was a graffiti wall out in New York City. They pulled up, took the pictures. You see how long it took me to see Pedophile? Do you see Pedophile on there, Red? No. See, he don't see it. Right, so I ain't got nothing to do with that. You don't see it. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it. That's it. That's all I got for y'all today. All right. Well, that is just with the mess with Lauren LaRosa. Do you feel good? It's your, it's your birthday, Envy? I do feel good. You did great I today. feel amazing. I'm so happy for you to be celebrating with you. Absolutely. All right. Well, you know what? I want to start the mix off with Fat Man Scoop. We reported earlier. Uh, if you Rest had, in peace, Fat Man Scoop. passed away over the weekend. So I just want to start happy off with... Uh, birthday to you. Hey. 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 Who kind of cake y'all got this year? Let me see the cake. Hey, cupcakes. They got me cupcakes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> let me make a wish. Let me make a wish. They interracial too. Shut up. They biracial cupcakes? <laughs> yeah. So they yellow right. and chocolate? Yeah, they yes. yellow and chocolate. Yep. You got a little green in there too for the Dominican side. Oh, here you go. With a little <laughs> empanada on the side? No empanadas, man. All right, well, let's get to and the don't mix. don't let Mac get none since Mac want to lie about being on a diet for yeah, 100 days. He said don't days. let Mac no, get none. No, I think none. it's a, um, a healthy one in there. There's no, no sprinkles. I got you, there. Mac. All right. Well, let's get to the mix. Which, see, Charlemagne didn't want to be here. See, she was Charlemagne. You, you know are what? lucky that dark energy did not come in on your day. Because, you know, he's... He, First of all, he all get, of y'all look so depressed in there without me. <laughs> he used to give That's me the kicks. I mean, look, the room looks down. Hey, Charlemagne used to give me the cake for my birthday. <laughs> he, gave you, he gave you his cake? Not his cake. But you know what? It's a breakfast club. Come on. All Think right. what y'all want. All right. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the guy. We are the breakfast club. Lauren LaRosa filling in for Jess. And I just want to salute to all the Virgos out there. I had an amazing weekend. Friday, I was in Virginia. Uh, Saturday, I did the Cousins Festival with Pusha T and Fam Lay. Uh, amazing festival. Then Saturday night, I was in uh, Columbus, Ohio. And then Sunday, I was in Oklahoma City. I just want to say shout to everybody for the love. I ran into Drew Hill. I ran into comedian Desi Banks. It was just so much love out there. So salute to all the Virgos. I appreciate it. I receive it. And I just want to say thank you so much. All right. Now, when we come back, we got the positive notice to Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Lauren LaRosa filling in for Jess. Now, Charlamagne, you got a positive note? Yes, I want to salute to everybody who listens to us on Q93 in New Orleans, man. On September 20th, I will be at Ball Winning Company at 7.30 p.m. Okay, that is a Friday night. I'll be at Ball Winning Company Coffee and Bookstore in New Orleans, uh, 7.30 p.m. on September 20th. All right, so all you have to do is go to ctgbco.eventbrite.com uh, to get your tickets. And I'll be there signing copies of my new book, Get Honest to Die Line, Why Small Talk Sucks. All right, so I'll see you all on September 20th at 7.30 p.m. New Orleans. All right, well, you got a positive note? I do, man. And this positive note comes from a, a, a woman on Instagram named Takara Derrett. Okay? Takara Derrett. I believe I'm saying her name right. She posted this, man, and I really, uh, I really co-signed this message. She said, Dear black men, please get a primary care doctor. Please get yearly physicals and EKGs. Please get yearly labs drawn. Please exercise. Please check your blood pressure. Please change your diet. Signed a black nurse who loves you. Thank you for your service, uh, Takara, and thank you for that message. It is greatly appreciated, and black men, I co-sign that 100%. Breakfast Club, bitches! Do y'all finish or y'all done?